So we're just uh, putting in a generator outlet, or inlet rather, um, so that I can hook the cyber truck up and power my home. And we got a snowstorm, ice storm is coming later this week, and hopefully I'll be prepared if I lose power. So right now the truck is powering the entire house through this inlet. We're gonna install this interlock on the panel door here. Okay, so finally finished up with the uh, install here. As you can see, the truck is uh, powering the whole house and through this uh, generator inlet, we've got the, um, um, the um, mechanical interlock installed here so that I can't have my main uh, power from the utility on while I'm powering through the uh, generator. It's a safety precaution. And then uh, I've got uh, specific breakers on. Basically the the general lighting, the receptacles, and like the microwave refrigerator, just a few things, certain things on. I don't have like things that draw a lot of power such as the uh, clothes dryer or the stove. Those, um, you know, not uh, not really needed during an emergency outage. But anyway, it's powering the whole house right now. It's been running for about, uh, I'll say power's been, been on for about 20, 30 minutes. And we'll go here to the cyber truck and, and see. Currently, we're pulling 1.5 kilowatt. Uh, I, when the heat was on, and I had the microwave running, just testing it, and uh, it's pulling like three and a half kilowatt. So uh, anyway, uh, a lot less power than what I had suspected. Now the heat I have is gas heat, um, so the fans are the only thing pulling electricity, and they, they pull very little. And I've got some instructions I wrote here on my panel about what to turn on during the generator usage. So anyway, just wanted to give a follow-up. And um, we've got a storm coming in tomorrow, a nice big snow and ice storm in the southeast. And so I'll be prepared if any, any power outages. And uh, we'll give you guys a follow-up in the future about, you know, how this has worked out for me. So we'll catch you on the next one.